It's the world champions against the Six Nations champions. France and Ireland under 20s. Taken this time by Joe Hopes for Ireland. And their drive's pretty decent too. They're over the line and they have the score. It's a brilliant start. Great momentum. And the backs just reacted to that. They knew that if they joined in numbers, as you see, Willie de Klerk adding his weight. The French just disintegrated. We saw it a couple of times last night. Real de detail from the Irish. Two and seven. Big momentum now for France under 20s. They've got the advantage as well. They pick and drive. Sellout crowd, willing France on, they're over the line and they have the try. That's the response they were looking for, who comes up with the goods. And what a try from the French, exactly what you expect. Look at this ball from Zinzen. Looking forward, knows exactly where his support is and the pace. The pace from Bosmoral, that left wing, outstanding. Realigned themselves, didn't get too over eager. Sometimes you can just get too flat and the attack dies. But then just brute. Short, on the Short line. again. O'Connell. Big spices there as well. Now they'll play for Gavin. Hugh Gavin. Short. Short again. Great defense from France. They might be there this time, Ireland. They are. That's the second try. Okay. Not just the who was burst over well, when they shifted the ball to Gavin I thought he dived over I thought he'd used his weight and his power but then was really patient Thank you. didn't get too greedy and try and reach for the line just recycled the ball intelligent play and then Gleason. Carbono is just gonna allow his forwards to drive forward Castro Ferreira's there it swung around advantage again they're over the line, they do have the try, France. And it's the captain again, Matis Castro Ferreira. Well, I just think Ireland switched off. They thought the scrum was going to be blown, they were going to have a reset. The referee just carried on, let France get on with it. He can't just switch off. Bryn Ward. His father Andy was a distinguished Ireland international. Looking for the steal there, France. There's the advantage for Ireland. Gavin. Coffey's going to kick over the top for McLaughlin. Beats everybody over the sideline, but there was a penalty coming. That was a free hit. So that 45 metres out on the angle. Murphy, he's hit it nicely. Straight through the middle. And it'll be Ireland who go to drinks with the three-point lead. Well, Leo Carbono's got his captain, Castro Ferreira, right next to it. He dummies him and gives it to Tuifua. Tuifua surges over the line and France are back in front. Just enough doubt in those Irish defensive, defensive eye, uh, eyes, sorry, created enough space. I'll tell you what, he worked some power into that space though, didn't he? To a foot, leg drive. Ball's on the floor. Yep. Boost, boost, boost. Brian Gleeson, good tackle from Tua Fua. No hands now. Castro goes in for the steal. Coffee. Now Ward. Numbers here for Ireland. Here's Gavin, big man. Big moments, big try for the inside centre. But actually, if you watch the angle of Hugh Gavin, he works really hard around the corner to get on the back of Ward's carry, comes out to win, almost blindsides the defenders. And then... Options either side for Carbono. He decides to go to that man, Kerry Caraba. To a fool with the clear oh, out. Great. Gleason has it. Hands fast. And then onto the ball. That was so close. Tom Rafi to level the scores. 
And he does exactly that. 65 minutes through. We are level again. Gary Carabba, with and without the ball. He's had a big part to play. Out the back to Nene, it was just behind him, it's been back to hit here by Murphy. Tracy's there as well, Tracy for Ireland, he scores! They're back in the lead! But actually, it's a bit of disjointedness as the substitutes have come on, it was Nene. The communication between him and Tackler just not quite as crisp. Led to the ball on the floor, and that man there, Finn Tracy. Two of four. Big minutes from the number seven tonight. Duchenne, the tight head. Oh. One more pass. Over the line, and they score, have they? Yes, they have. And he's got... This stadium back on its feet. The conversion will level it up once more. Well, it was a great carry from Nene. And it may well be Mayo Perrin that dots the ball down. But look who it is who makes the bust. Quere Caraba through one tackle. Offloads. Jack Murphy has not missed this evening. This to potentially win it for Ireland, and he's raised the flags once again. And Dad Ritchie, head coach, looks on. Murphy with the penalty. And Ireland begin the defence of their Six Nations under 20 Grand Slam just the way they wanted to an away win against their great rivals france